for Nickel Belt. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This question is for the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Speaker, for years now, hospitals throughout our province have been operating at overcapacity. That means that every night there are thousands of Ontarians, patients that are crammed into bathroom, shower room, TV room, storage closet, anywhere you can fit a bed or a stretcher. In Sudbury, Health Sciences North is presently at overcapacity, and they are expecting a surge with the flu season just around the corner. The Ontario Hospital Association tells us that they need a minimum of $300 million just to maintain what we have, not to fix it. Does the minister believe that $90 million shared between 150 hospitals will fix hallway medicine in Sudbury and prepare them to care for us when the flu season surge starts? Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Well, I thank the, the member very much for the question. The fact is we are aware that many hospitals across Ontario are operating at over 100 per cent capacity, and this puts good patient care in jeopardy with the flu season approaching. And any one patient that's being treated in a hallway is one patient too many, as far as I'm concerned. They deserve better. Many are seniors. They deserve to be treated in a proper hospital room. And for healthcare professionals that are attending for them, that is not the kind of care that they want to pr provide either. So we have anticipated the flu season. We are providing relief um, across Ontario. We are injecting $90 million into it, but there's more than that. We will be making an announcement about that shortly after noon today. So should you have any questions following that, I would be very pleased to answer them. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Thunderbee Regional Hospital, like so many other hospitals, has been operating at overcapacity. Last January, they had 447 patients in 375 beds. Strong in that, Speaker, that's 72 patients who were cared for in corridors, bathroom, TV lounge, anywhere but a hospital room. The situation in Thunderbee is still very dire. As they continue to provide quality care, while trying to provide quality care while providing hallway medicine. Let me be clear, Speaker, you cannot provide quality care in a hallway. It is not possible. Does the minister think that investing 1,000 beds among 150 hospitals will fix the hallway medicine crisis in Thunder Bay and will prepare them for the surge with the flu around the corner? Minister. Well, I, I would say to the member that this is a situation that has been growing over a number of years. This didn't just happen after June 7th. It's been growing for 15 years. So we need to deal with that. And there's not going to be one simple solution that's going to come forward that we're going to be able to instantly end hallway medicine. I agree with you. No one deserves to be treated in a hallway or a storage room. We are taking steps to deal with it. It is a multifaceted problem. It does involve people that are ending up in emergency departments but can't get to a room because of the alternate level of care patients who don't need to be in hospital but can't go home, they can't get enough services, and there's no long-term care home to go to for them. So we have to build in steps along the way to make sure that patients get the care that they need. We are working on it. Are the steps that we're going to take today going to end Spons. hallway health care? No, unfortunately not. We are working on a long-term health capacity plan that we will be working on and bringing forward over the next few months. Thank you. 